ऑनरेबल रक्षा मंत्री श्री राजनाथ सिंह डॉक्टर सारस्वत मेंबर नीति आयोग एयर चीफ मार्शल बी के चौधरी चीफ ऑफ द एयर स्टाफ एडमिरल हरि कुमार चीफ ऑफ द नेवल स्टाफ डिस्टिंग्विश्ड इनवाइटीज एंड गेस्ट फ्रॉम मिनिस्ट्रीज यूनिफॉर्म फोर्सेस इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट एकेडमिया एंड फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम द मीडिया इट इज इंडीड अ प्रिविलेज फॉर द इंडियन आर्मी टू ऑर्गेनाइज सामंजस्य से शक्ति पावर थ्रू सिनर्जी द इनाग्रल सेमिनार ऑन कोलाबरेटिव लॉजिस्टिक सोल्यूशंस फॉर द आर्म फोर्सेस आई विश टू थैंक द ऑनरेबल रक्षा मंत्री एंड अदर डिस्टिंग विश गेस्ट एज वेल एज द एमिनेंट स्पीकर्स हुज प्रेजेंस हियर दिस मॉर्निंग एज एडेड ग्रेट वैल्यू टू आर एफर्ट्स एंड विल एंड रीच द प्रोसीडिंग्स टूडे द आइडिया फॉर अ कॉम्प्रहेंसिव एंड कोलाबरेटिंग सेमिनार on logistics germinated while deliberating on the shape and character of future wars the evolving threats and the challenges to national security wars as you would appreciate are not fought between militaries alone they remain a whole of nation endeavor wars test the national resilience and stretch nations resources and capacities the ongoing conflict between russia and ukraine which has already passed the half year mark is an apt example the images of war speak for themselves while the war shows little signs of ebbing there are already important lessons for those concerned with national security one such lesson that has emerged clearly loud and clear is that the space the pace intensity and reach of military operations rides on the strength agility and capacity of the logistic support napoleon had napoleon had once famously remarked and i quote an army marches on its belly unquote much has changed since the napoleonic wars but the critical role of military logistics across the spectrum of conflict remains as relevant today as it has ever been indeed logistics has been a central thread across the ongoing russia ukraine conflict as the conflict has transitioned into an extended ground war the additional strain on logistics has been one of the major factors that continues to limit the shape and scope of operations evidently multi domain operations employing cutting edge disruptive technologies Light. will be the norm on the battlefields Light. of tomorrow synergy in concept doctrine organization and execution is necessary for the successful prosecution of operations as a result resources would need to be integrated as effectively as possible and cutting edge technology information networks transportation and logistic systems leverage to achieve the desired outcomes the pillars upon which a country's comprehensive national power is founded is undoubtedly its infrastructure both civil as well as military the optimal employment of fighting power is facilitated by strong road and rail network air fields ports inland waterways power energy and transportation infrastructure among other things and these constitute the nations essential and critical infrastructure whilst military infrastructure will continue to meet the immediate and specific demands of the armed forces it is a civil military fusion with the support of the indian industry that shall provide the bulwark for execution and sustenance of future operations the quick steps taken by the us the uk russia and most recently by china in implementing efficient joint military civil structures underline the urgency attached to the issue i am inclined here to mention the book titled freedom's forge by arthur <coughs> herman to this learned audience the book describes how the american business and industry produced or contributed to victory in the world war 2 there was immense pressure of time materials and distribution as the war knocked on america's doorsteps 
it is an inspiring story of how the american industry put aside its own interest and came together to turn the factories into assembly lines to churn out tanks ships and aircraft in unprecedented numbers for the war effort it is this synergy amongst all stakeholders empowered by the indigenous industry that won the day for the united states i have no doubt that if the time comes the indian story will be even better the wheels for this endeavor have already been set in motion with the vision of atmanirbharta the indian army as you saw in the earlier presentation continues to be deployed in some of the most varied and difficult terrains in the world the active and disputed borders with two of our neighbors make maintaining high levels of operational preparedness an imperative and a challenge it places unique demands on the logistics architecture as has already been highlighted by the previous speaker a few minutes earlier force mobilization and sustenance to meet operational contingencies as was witnessed during the eastern ladakh imbroglio becomes a complex process involving multiple stakeholders i would like to mention here that had it not been for the phenomenal coordination and airlift by the indian Op uh, indian air force timely mobilization of units and formations to eastern ladakh would not have been possible a major organizational restructuring has been undertaken by the establishment in the form of department of military affairs which would also lead to greater integration in operational logistics between the three services and in this regard joint logistic nodes are already coming up to induce greater efficiency however when it comes to civil military fusion and whole of nation approach towards defense logistics we are still in very nascent stage it is expected that the national logistics policy in advance stage of formulation will address these issues and provide the guiding framework and the necessary impetus here lies herein lies the spirit of today's seminar only through synergy of resources wisdom and will of all stakeholders and harnessing other instruments of national power can we build the collective ability to meet future challenges synergy is a natural magic and a universal law through we can through which we can achieve more from less and when it comes to synergize civil military logistics it dramatically increases our capability to conduct successful military operations with much greater efficiency through synergy amongst various ministries such as defense finance home road transport and highways railways civil aviation shipping power petroleum and natural gas water resources commerce industry and the niti aayog we can reduce cost without compromising on providing state of the art logistics to our field forces symbiotic relationship between national and military logistics is likely to address military requirements of faster mobilization improved ports shipping and transport infrastructure this is captured in the theme of this seminar which is power through synergy i am confident that the capabilities standards and solutions discussed today shall offer valuable takeaways that go far beyond the military domain and inspire greater confidence amongst all stakeholders it is well said that logistic is the stored potential of a military force and industry is the battery from which energy is drawn logistics has even been compared to a bridge connecting the national economy to the battlefield where unprocessed resources products and services are transformed through relationship and procedures to influence military outcomes industry is where logistics begins in order to bring down dependency on imports and build an atmanirbhar logistics architecture the integration of logistics and industry is vital we have made good progress in establishing an efficient defense industry setup which has been ably supported by government policies there is also considerable increase in the r and d 
investment in defense technology education and endeavors to understand each other's requirements. Apart from our DPSUs, greater participation is being seen from private indigenous manufacturers who are committed to enable our goal of providing world-class indigenous equipment to our troops. The need of the hour is to encourage more military industry interactions to go jointly work towards achieving our targets. The process can even be institutionalized through formation of official forums. In this digital age, technological innovation has revolutionized practically every aspect of national endeavor, speeding up and streamlining processes. Defense logistics can be significantly improved by the use of technology, which, when used effectively across multiple domains, can increase accuracy, relevance, intelligence, and resource efficiency whilst lowering cost. I would like to conclude by re-emphasizing that the essence of a sound logistics philosophy is to facilitate availability of the desired resources at the right time and right place. The synergy between various verticals of national power will significantly impact our operational reach. Very simply put, synergy is the power that expands through cooperation and collaboration. The power which is generated in cooperative endeavors far exceeds the capabilities of any individual organization or agency acting alone. I am sanguine that the experience and expertise of our eminent speakers today will offer us useful pointers in this direction. My best wishes to all the participants. May you have a successful and professionally fulfilling and rewarding seminar. Thank you and Jai Hind.